Yep. I am getting a little bit tired. We'll finish this chapter and call it a night, I think. Not only that, I have to read through some stuff for Guy and Oso. What the? Spitting Gilas. They don't really stop with the, like, magical kind of creatures, too. Like, they make up all their own monsters to fight, more or less. Yeah, so waypoints. Very useful in this game, especially when you get all those annoying quests that make you have to travel between acts and ugh, different locations. Absolutely irritating. I would show you the rest of this town, but I can't actually show it to you until I get the thing off my neck, so... Uh... Yeah. Ha! You must have been roughed up pretty badly out there if you think I'm going to sell you anything. Well, I do have a few things I was going to throw away. You can look them over if you don't have anything better to do. <laughs> I suppose I don't. <laughs> Show me what you got. I actually just want to give you all my junk, so, eh. You actually get some decent stuff here, too. Ooh, what's that? Planeswalker Journey set. Do I actually have anything from that set? Ooh. Well, you might have it. Bloody Vengeance. I have some from that set already. Ooh! 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 He can have that! How exciting! A new amulet! Where did it go? There it is. Oh, and also a new Arbalist Crystal Cloud Strike. Mmm. This one's still better. I've, ha I've had that cr um, crossbow for quite a long time, actually. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm holding on to this, it's because uh, this was me trying to break it. The, um, before the minimum damage ended up being, was actually like 122 or something, or the maximum damage was 122, something along those lines. So I'm like, well, what happens if I exceed the maximum damage with the minimum damage when you're crafting items, which is another thing you can do in this game. Something that totally wasn't stolen from Diablo 2. Anyway, um, yeah, so it just ended up increasing the overall damage. I thought that was kind of cool. I just use these things. Anyway, um... I have the attention span of a goldfish, honestly. I also kind of know what I have and don't have, so I know if things are good or not. <laughs> All these sticks I have. <laughs> gonna hold on to those for later. You can have this, uh... Yeah, thank you. I have maximized that spell's efficiency. You know what I could do for number five is I could uh, say the people who have multiclassed have to fight with their off. So like Winter and Tar, for instance, they've kind of multiclassed. So maybe I could do that. I think that would work because then that way you don't have like um, you know Vix fighting with a staff that three to five damage. Come on. Ugh. Anyway, I think he, I think, I think that would actually, I don't know if that would actually help or not. It would increase damage. Everything. This is fantastic, by the way. Instead of, like, trying things on, you can see what it does before it, you actually put it on. The only downside is it just changes this. It's mostly the intelligence. I think I'm going to switch it out anyways, just because it's a better amulet overall. And it adds so much dexterity. Like, if you look at the dexterity on this, it's just ridiculous. Look at his dexterity. See, it increases intelligence and mana, but that's about it. Yeah, I might switch these out too, because this is all part of this set. I think I already have that set in, like, another form, too. It's weird. Anyway. Hold on to it for later. I might also stop picking up um, items like blue items because I just don't have enough room and I run out of space all the time. And... Yeah, a lot of the same controls. Um, this is different. 
don't press alt anymore, you press L. <laughs> uh, most of the stuff is the same though, like picking up items in the ground and all that fun stuff. Look at me, I'm boring you all to death. I'm gonna go get potions and get the hell out of here. What are you doing out of the prison ward? You should not be wandering around here. I was wondering if I could purchase some of your goods. She just doesn't question it. She's like, okay. Well, that explains everything. Um, get more of these. Oh, interesting. Um, very interesting. I don't want that. You can have that. Um, <laughs> get rid of that. I'm not using potions this time, it's really hilarious, so just carrying on the potions challenge. It's not really a challenge, it's more like flailing. So much faster buying. I'm so glad I learned that trick. I never knew that for any of these games. It's absolutely horrendous. Well, let's see if you can do anything exciting. Here, you can have a greater ice, ice bolt. An ice bolt. <laughs> Nourish. <laughs> Put those both in there and see if she, what she, uh. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Let's see which one she picks. You know. Okay. Let's get. Let's uh, continue with our quest here. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna do that for number five. Is like anybody who has a multi-class, then you can do that. If you really want a challenge, I'm not gonna do that because it's just gonna be too long for recording purposes. But you know, number five, fight with non-dominant weapon. I think that would work. <sighs> number five. Now I think it's just gonna be those who um, have multi-class can fight with their non-dominant weapon. Um, I'm already said I was gonna do the potions for now, so. We'll just do that for the next time five is rolled. So for the purposes of this, if I roll another five the next chapter, then I will do that. Because technically it's not the same challenge. Ha 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 What are you doing? I think, I think Duru could do it too. She's, she's got enough nature magic skill to handle that, I think. Then again, she just pretty much stands there and does nothing half the time. I do so much damage though, it's ridiculous. I think that would be a fair enough handicap. Personally, I don't know. Whatever. It's my game, my challenges. I get to call the shots. <laughs> Also, see if I can find as many of these secret areas as possible. I know I probably missed tons of stuff. That- ooh, a shield. Is that Vistara's- Oh, Lorthel's Legacy. I already completed this set and got rid of it. It's eight pieces. It's ridiculous. I got all eight pieces though. I think I'm gonna post like a blog or something like that and put a bunch of the sets that I find and uh different challenges you can do and stuff like that up there. And then that way I don't have to explain it every two seconds. I think that would be nice. Um, Alright. Whoa! You! You are the one who kidnapped Tansy! Tell me where she is or I will kill you, fiend! Ha! I kill you first, green lady! These, these dryad ladies really are pretty pathetic. Uh, um, okay. Well, I guess I should go up there and see if she's okay. I was just gonna leave her, but meh. Hi! You just oh, power slid. I nearly bested him, the little imp! Tansy will surely die now! <laughs> if by nearly bested you mean uh, got hit once and fell to the ground, then uh, sure. They nearly killed Hesla as well, but I was able to bring her safely back to Ireland. But 
Tansy. Oh, I could not reach her in time. Tansy is my niece. We three. Tansy, my sister Hesla, and I were searching for survivors following the Morden attacks. Tansy was taken by the treacherous Haku. Oh, voice acting. Grating. A Haku. Those little masked forest creatures. Yes, they are vile fiends. The caves nearby have long been a Haku stronghold, and gladly did we allow them to remain, even though they did occasionally cause mischief. We should have exterminated them when we had the chance. Oh, poor Tansy! Wasn't Haku the name of uh, the um, villain in Samurai Jack, too? Or was that Aku? Haku? Aku? Aku! I think it might have been Aku. Aye, well, war does indeed reveal one's true colors. I'm sorry about your niece. Please, stranger. You seem able and well equipped. Help me find Tansy. Okay, I can't take I this. Certainly, my lady, I'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, oh God. Bless you, friend. I am sure they cannot have taken Tansy far. There is a vast network of caves within these cliffs. I recall coming across another entrance once in the dark jungle between this bridge and the next. I was headed there when that horrible vermin ambushed me. Oh, I will do my best to find it, lady. Now, take yourself back to Ireland. Those wounds look deep. My prayers will be with you, friend. I will make my way back to town and join my sister in the infirmary. Please hurry. Tansy must be terribly frightened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Piss off, lady. She just vaporized. Strange woman. Ooh, look, it's a haku party. Let's crash it. powers in this game. Just fire off stuff and everything explodes in flying chunks of blood and guts. It's oddly satisfying. Haku ritual site. An enchantable exceptional spiked club. I think I come back here for a quest. This looks familiar. Pretty sure. Colossal mana potion. I don't want your spiked club. You can keep it. Oh, my back. Back at the uh, first tower, when he asks you the password, I remember I tried it before I actually gave him the right password, and I think he let me through until I released the dryad from her cage, and then they're like, what are you doing? And then actually attacked me. So you can technically stave off their attack uh, a bit longer, but eh. There's not really any point to it. It's just a fun little thing you can do. See, these guys are barely hurting me. The only person they ever seem to hurt is Vix, and you know, that's pretty normal. Like, I'm hardly even being dented. I suppose if I sat here for a while, then they'd actually do some damage, but so far, not really. I also love how I stand next to these towers whenever I try to blow them up, and I somehow get out of it unscathed. I'm going to light my torch on fire if I can see what I'm doing. Oh. So I'm like two meters away from this. I'm pretty sure that would... <laughs> 
hurt. Uh, also, I think a lot of these weapons that I have in here are better. Like this, for instance, is better than what I have here. I just like the bonuses that it gives. The other weapons do more damage, but you bonuses, are I think, are better. Have you lost your tongue? Nothing to say. Well, this is going to be an awfully long journey if we must endure your pouting. No longer than putting up with your pointless chatter. <laughs> Agreed. Hey, great leader! Why did you ask this wet rag to join us? Uh... Be quiet. The next Morden Tower lies ahead. So it does. Those Morden will rue the day I join this group. I can think of one half-giant who already does. Hehe. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Hmm. Uh, it's a good thing, dear, that you're a good archer. There is a dead deer on the ground. How? Shooting arrows at me. It hurts. Man, that one chapter video is gonna be. Well, I guess it's not gonna be too short because I had that whole introduction part and you know explaining everything and uh, talking and whatnot. So I guess it wouldn't be that short. I guess if I skipped through all that, it would be pretty short, but it's not. There's, I know there's gonna be some chapters that are so short. It's gonna be like five minutes long. It's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, I think a lot of these challenges are going to be a lot more difficult and effective later on because right at the beginning here, the these guys are so low level that it just doesn't matter at all. So... Also, there's a few quests that you start in the first age and then um, finish later. I'm debating whether to do it all at once or if I should do it gradually what would be the easiest but for now I think I'm going to just do it all later because I pretty much know it pretty much tells you exactly where to find everything and what to do so these ghosts here I'm not gonna ruin it yet but um, they're part of a quest <laughs> I know exactly what you need to do for it and where to find most of them by memory but I'm gonna pretend I don't. So just remember that ghost and uh, we'll get back to that in Act 2. Hello, Dryad Ammer. Ammer. Armor. wonder if uh, Diablo 3 had come out for before Di uh, Dungeon Siege 3 if uh, that would have made any difference in how the game was made. Probably not because Square Enix, Enix just fucked that right up but uh, I don't know. If you haven't guessed yet I really do not approve of Dungeon Siege 3. It has good attributes to it, but not enough to offset what's really wrong with it. So we'll get we'll get back to that. I just personally I don't think it should have the name Dungeon Siege because it's just not a Dungeon Siege game. It's like a westernized RPG type game. It's it's weird. I'm thinking of JRPG when I say that. Me of. I'm mumbling again. I can't be mumbling. Ha ha. Boss. Yeah, I'm also using these LPs to help me learn how to speak better. <laughs> I don't think it's working. <laughs> uh. Oh man, powers just reduce so much time spent killing dudes. What are you doing? It's a prodigy. I think I smashed this cage and something back here with that one arrow I shot. 
Jabin. <laughs> this on fire Let's switch this and then watch things explode kill this guy kind of wonder why those guys don't shoot from the tower or whatever engraved plating A little sidetracked here for a moment, but that's okay. Alpha spitting Gila. 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 Say Gila. Gila. Maybe Gila. Good mithril gauntlets. Mm, pass. So for the uh, gray items you see there, those are all enchantable items. Those, oh yeah, this is the other side of the bridge. Those are all enchantable items, so those are items that you can um, put certain attributes to, like the reagents that you saw in my inventory before, like the feathers, and I think the engraved plating is one too. But um, Legendary jeweled ring. You want legendary stuff because that gives you the most space to work with and the most item uh, options you can put in it. But um, basically, it goes good, great, exceptional, and then legendary. I think there's one I'm missing, but um, there's there's like four or five different levels of it, and you get more space depending on the level. It's actually kind of a cool idea, but. Not something I usually take advantage of. I usually only use it just to try to break things. Like, uh, there's one item. I don't know if I still have I do still have it. This is one I made on uh, my first playthrough of this. <laughs> I was trying to see how uh, much I could break the game. I was going to try to make a 100% chance of finding uh, magic items, so... I think it works more or less. I think I have a cumulative total of 100% chance to find these items among all of my players, so. Because I re very, very rarely come across uh, items that aren't either magical or unique or part of a set, so. Yeah. I need to finish this chapter before I fall asleep. I am actually quite sleepy. I've had a busy couple of weeks. I actually meant to start this LP a long time ago two weeks ago, but I just haven't had the time. There's too much going on right now, man. It's almost the end of the uh, school year, so I'm doing all crazy things like writing papers and failing tests and whatnot. Gorgak. They're like monkeys. Monkeys with Things sticking out of their side. Yeah, I think there's uh, spells in this that can uh, affect corpses. I think they brought back explode body. I have to double check that. I'm pretty sure I have it in my inventory somewhere. I wouldn't have thrown it away. I don't think. It's just fantastic. <laughs> Greater Healing Cascade. I'll pick that up and I'll take your two super potions. And that's all I'm going to take from that. Um, take a look down here. Whoa! Love how you still get assaulted by the cutscenes. They just kind of pop out of nowhere. Don't really expect them. Thank you! Thank you for that. Found the hidden entrance to the Haku Caves! Haku! I liked the show Samurai Jack. That was a good one.
Saw it on TV again. Actually, fairly recently. It's not something I would have expected. Oh yeah! Remember how I said we'd come back to those caves later? Well, uh... This is those caves. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do some of these quests, like, individually. Like, if... If, um, I end up passing some of them... I might actually just... Complete it then and there, but... Otherwise, I think, um... Like the one that involves the ghosts there. I think I'm just going to do that all at once and then you can have an idea of how that's all played out. Let's take a look in these caves here. Because uh, there's a quest I could do. One creepy Run! looking mofo. You are high priest, son? Traitor! All Haku die if you serve for win! You serve for fool to trust Morden! Morden kill Haku! Haku must help three ladies! My father helped three ladies! I go find my father! They're having like a dance duel. Dance off! They're having a dance off. Oh my god. You did you see that? Harang could not have been lying, else why would he have come to my defense like that? I I thank you for arriving when you did, stranger. This place is not safe for us to linger. Let us return to Ariulon before the other Haku return in force. Why is everybody associated with your family, an annoying voice actor? To go talk to your mother or your aunt or whatever the hell you guys are. What the? Yeah, the Dryads, I think, have the weakest voice acting out of all. Like, some of the the guy's voice acting, like, I think is the best. The, the female voice acting in this game isn't very good. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, one to talk if you've seen me ever, or heard me ever voice act. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> uh, it's, there's just some things I should not be doing, and voice acting is one of them. I just... But, anyway, maybe I'll get better with time. We'll see. Legendary light crossbow. See, I'd pick up that. I think that's. Um, duh. Okay. I picked up a tattered diary. It's a, probably a good time to show you what's what with the journal and stuff like that. I think it's very clever what they did with the journal actually in this game. They they kind of put everything in one big um, area like all your quests and everything and you can cycle between each one like read all the details under here in case you missed anything primary secondary and, and, and the good thing about the quests is if you missed anything you can't really fail them you just have to go back and get it all later but yeah you can switch between axe primary which is your regular quest which we're following especially for the challenges and then the secondary which is all your well, secondary quests. You got your map. If you get confused where stuff is, you can look where all the, um, like, waypoints and stuff are. You can see where you are on the map. Um, you got your lore, so, you, like, the books I picked up, you can read through it if you're really that interested. So you don't have to carry around 500 books now if you think they might be important, which they're not really. The books are kind of important in this game if you want to do one of the, uh, quests, but, yeah. And then you got, like, your bestiary and handbook and whatnot. Like, if you're confused on how to do something, you can look it up. I think it's good. It's like help and quest tracking and whatnot. It's all good. Duh. This is dancing around in the corner now. <laughs> I think he was stunned, actually, which doesn't make much sense because he was he was dancing around the entire time. Yeah, another one of those uh, incantation shrines. Call them altars and stuff like that. Whee! 
I see exceptional. Exceptional adept gloves. Well, just changing.